Hey guys, it's Joseph here, back on Joe Stuff, and today I'm going to be doing another HitFilm tutorial. So go ahead and open up HitFilm, and this or this is what opened up for me, because I have HitFilm Express 14, which is currently the latest version of HitFilm Express. I'm going to be showing two ways to make lightsaber effects on your videos in this tutorial here. So go ahead and hit New for a new project, and go ahead and hit OK. Okay, so once once you're inside of this project, it should come up something like this. If you're new to HitFilm, it'll probably come up something different. But up here in the window, so see here's another layout. Up here you can click Window, and then go down to Workspaces, and then go and click on one of these different ones. You can also make it like create your custom ones and then hit save but the one that I like to use best is compositing the compositing layout and that's the one I'm going to be using for this video so I'm going to go ahead and click compositing and it comes up like this and so I do make a few little tweaks to how it looks but I, it's fine like this so I'm going to go ahead and go over to the media tab and hit import and then I'm going to go ahead and grab the video I want, which is me swinging a lightsaber around outside. So, this video right here is not a bad video for using. I'm just going to go ahead and show you the uh, the actual video I am going to be using here. The video I'm going to be using, I'm just going to reset it, and the video I'm going to be using is this one right here. And it's basically just me swinging a lightsaber around. Okay, of course, it's just a prop. Okay, so go ahead and right-click on your footage, and go ahead and select Make Composite Shot. I'm going to go ahead and rename this to Light Saber. Hit OK. And then go ahead and select the New Layer button, and press Plane. And then go ahead and set that plane to Black. I'm just going to rename it to blade and hit okay so as you can see everything goes blank or it goes all dark actually because this plane is in the way so go ahead up to the effects we'll fix this in a minute but go ahead up to the effects and type in start to type in light sword into it and go ahead and select either so if you're using I'm using hitfilm express here but I'm actually going to be showing you how to use something that is in hitfilm pro just because I like it a lot better, and if anyone has HitFilm Pro, they'll be able to know how to do this. But there's also an effect that's very similar inside of Express that's free. So either take, if you're trying to do it completely free, take the Light Sword 2 point auto, like right here, and drag it down onto Blade, or take the 2 point Ultra 2 point auto, uh, Light Sword 2 point Ultra one, and drag it onto the Blade plane. I'm going to be using that one, but the process is exactly the same if you're using the other one. So when it opens, it should do something like this. It's kind of a small, or sort of thin-looking lightsaber there. But go ahead and right-click. So don't go down here and right-click on the blade plane and go up to the blend mode and set the blend mode to add. Then with that selected, go over to the controls and then go inside the light sword ultra effect. And now, for me, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to a preset and select green. That automatically makes a green one. Otherwise, if you're using the free one, you can go ahead and change the settings to make it look just how you want. This is a preset right here, so I'm just going to be using it like this. We're actually going to need this right away because we're going to have to rotoscope out some points first. Rotoscoping, if you don't know, is where you just go through a whole video making slight changes to something manually, and it will do that when you're finished and so it's kind of boring but it makes great results later so go ahead and turn off that blade plane because we don't want to really see that right in the middle of our faces when we're trying to figure out where to put some points so go ahead now down to new a new layer and select point and I'm gonna go ahead and rename that point to hilt it's pretty important to rename these because you can get them mixed up and then make a new point and right click and select rename and type in tip. So we have hilt and tip, and of course those go to hilt and tip. 
the, in the places that they are. Now, if you're hearing annoying chunky audio as you scrub through the video, then you can go ahead and fix that by selecting the, your video and going to Layer Properties and select Mute. So we're going to need to rotoscope out these points, and I'm going to go ahead and select on that hill point. As you can see, here it is. It's just a point. So go ahead through your video until you come up to the first time your lightsaber is seen. And then go right before that, right before your fir the first time your lightsaber is seen. So right here, the very frame 4. And if you don't know, you can use the period and comma keys to go back and forth through your uh, video frame by frame. Go ahead and drag your point away off the screen in somewhere. And go into the transform over here, make sure it's selected. Go into the transform in the controls panel. And select, and turn on, like, see this little circle right here? You just turn on keyframing for the position by clicking on that. Keyframing means that if you, I'll show you, so if you skip ahead a little bit now and move it over here and then skip back, you can see how it moves. It goes, it follows the path that you made out for it. So go ahead and turn on position keyframing for that. Skip ahead to the frame right before where you see your lightsaber and drag it to some other place. We don't want it skipping through the screen where we don't want it. And then skip to the first one. Now remember which point you're using. This is the hilt, right here, this is the hilt point, so go ahead and you need to put it down on the lower part in the, where the hilt is. Then skip ahead a frame or two. You'll get the very best results if you were to go one frame at a time through the whole thing, but if you don't feel like doing that, you can go two or even three. Just don't go too many, especially if it's moving. If the lightsaber is in very fast movement, try to go in less, less frames. It's pretty quick and easy just to go through one frame at a time, but you can certainly skip through a couple at least, and three if it's moving real slow. Right here I'm going ahead by about one, and as you can see it's you're leaving sort of a trail of these little boxes. Those are your positions that you keyframed out, that you're leaving out behind you there. And if you go back through your video you can see how it follow, the point follows it around. So we've got to pinpoint where each of the spots where the hilt is going to be. It's not usually necessary to do every single frame though. So I'm going to go ahead and skip through this part because I'm sure you don't want to watch me do that. We're back in here and it's all finished. Then as you can see we have both of the points all nicely rotoscoped out. If you haven't yet go ahead and do the tip in the same way you did the hilt. I already did and you can come back when you're finished if you haven't done it yet. But if you have, keep watching. So go ahead and turn on your blade plane again, right here, and that'll make your lightsaber come up. Go into the controls of the plane here, of your light sword, and go ahead and go inside of it, and go into the hilt drop down here, and select your hilt point. That, that means that wherever your hilt point goes, the hilt position of your lightsaber will also go there. So you need to go ahead and zero out the position because if you zero it out, that means it's relative to wherever the point is. Zero and zero means it's on right directly on top of your hilt point. So go inside the tip and do the same thing. Put tip in there and then hit zero and zero. Like that. And so now that we have that, it's actually all finished now. And if you skim through the video a little bit here, you can see how it actually follows your lightsaber prop around. So I'm going to go ahead and just put a render through of this so that you can see it. Okay, so now it's finished all rendering here, and I'm just going to go ahead and hit play so you can watch that. And of course you can do it on your side too, and it looks amazing. So that is the is a very good way of doing the lightsaber effect, and it's my very favorite, personally. I will be getting HitFilm Pro soon, so that's why I've been experimenting with it. But if you have Express, you can, as I said, you can use the same type of thing, just with the free effect of it. So, thank you for watching this tutorial here. Now, if you look closely, you can actually see how it goes in front of your actor, even when it's supposed to be going behind. But that's because you'll have to mask out around him to make it go in your actor to go to make it go in front. But that's something for a different tutorial. So I hope you guys found this helpful, and I will see you again in upcoming videos.
and probably more hit film tutorials at some point.